Hello and welcome to my 2017 Walt Disney World haul. I have brought quite a lot of stuff this year, even though we went last year I just went a bit crazy in the shops. I'm not going to do a huge disclaimer, I saved loads of money for this holiday and yeah everything I've brought kind of has a sentimental value. So we went to Disney World on the 31st of July and we came back on the 16th of August. I had the most amazing time, it was so special, just even though we went last year it was like a completely different holiday, in in a good way both holidays were really good but it was really different in a sense because it was like we knew more what we were doing, so yeah it was just a really really lovely holiday and it was nice to just relax and spend quality time with James, so yeah I'm not going to do a big spiel because I just want to get started. So I'm going to start with the plushies I brought, brought an embarrassing amount, but hey, we had to take these all through hand luggage which was a bit cringe, but never mind. So the first two are a set because you can't buy Minnie without Mickey and so I got these and like when I saw these on the website I thought they were really creepy looking and I was like, ooh, they're horrible, but then I saw them in the shop and I was like, they are so cute. So basically, they're kind of like a bo the bubble head toys. And it's a big head on a little body. And I just love it. They're so cute. And what I really like is their mouths are on opposite sides so they can kiss. Yeah, I'm a child. But I'm happy with that. These were $22 each, which I don't think was too bad. I never think plushies compared to some of the other like merchandise you buy in Disney World is that expensive. And yeah, they you have to have one yeah, you have to have both of them. And I thought these were just really, really cute. Speaking of buying two things, the next thing I got, hello, just bobbing up and down, were these two guys! I'm not a baby, these are not brought for a baby, these are brought for me, but these are the plushies as babies and they are the most incredibly soft toys ever. I wanted to buy a stitch and I didn't really like any of the stitches they had and the only one that they had that I liked was huge, it was like this big and I was like I can't get that home. So this is a stitch I really liked, and I just think he's so cute. So yeah, and the blanket's alright, like I've taken the blanket off so I can have it without the blanket, but I thought this was so nice. And basically I wasn't going to get the Winnie the Pooh, but it was on a deal which was like 2 for 25, uh, 1 for 25 or 2 for 40 dollars. And I was like, that's actually really, really good. Like, the second one was $15, which I didn't think was too bad. And Winnie the Pooh is like the softest, cutest toy in the world. Like, I'm not a Dis uh, I am a Disney fan. I'm not a Winnie the Pooh fan, but oh my god. Literally, he's so cute. So, he's quite nice in his blanket. I've not really attached it properly. But, without the blanket, look! And he's just, so, oh my god, he is so soft. It's just like, oh. And it was really nice like when I came home and he was just so comfy. And he's in a little PJ outfit. And yeah, it's just so cute. So he was a really, really cute investment. So the next thing was not for me, it was for my mum. But it was the first thing I knew before we were, before we went out that I knew I wanted to get. And it is this just my mum to a T Christmas decoration. My mum is such a wuss when it comes to rides, she doesn't go on anything, like she has to be pep talked onto Splash Mountain. Yeah, she's really like, she just doesn't like rides. But she absolutely loves It's a Small World, like really really loves it, like she gets really emotional. She loves it that much. So, when I was on the Disney Parks, um, Disney Parks sort of app, I spotted it and it is, it's like massively wrapped up so it might take me a little while. It's a It's a Small World little decoration! How cute is that? I don't know if it's going to focus. Oh, we're focusing. 
ish. It's a it's a small world little Mickey hat and this bit spins here and on the back it says it's a small world and it's got like one of the little children from each place on it and it's just my camera's not gonna focus on it sorry but it's just adorable and it was just like I saw it and I was like that's my mum <laughs> that is my mum to a T like I really hope she Okay, so the next thing I got was part of the 45th Magic Kingdom celebration. I knew before we went out there that I wanted to get something to commemorate that occasion. So me and James both brought these 45th anniversary pens. Like, I normally go crazy on pens and I didn't really buy many this year. But I thought these were really nice sort of memento and they were quite cheap. I think they were like $7 each. Which I suppose, to be honest, is a bit ridiculous for a pen. But I thought they were so nice. It says 45th anniversary on that side. And then it's got the one and only Mr. Mickey. And yeah, I just thought these were really cute. And a nice way to celebrate. The other thing I got was a Pandora charm. Um, I, get, I like to get one every year. But obviously they're really, really expensive. And what I'd like to do every time we go is to get one representing each park so this year I went for the castle and on it it says 45th now I'm going to show it but I suspect it won't sort of you won't be able to see it very clearly but I just thought this was so special so as you can see in the blur that, that is the charm what I might do is I might try and put a picture of it like insert one but I just really love it and it's quite detailed of the castle and it just in the middle it says 45th anniversary and I just thought how nice it was and I do like these ones because they are special because they are just for Magic Kingdom uh, just for Disney World Park so you can only get them there Another sort of jewellery item that I like to collect when we go to Disney World is the Alex and Arnie bracelets. Last year I got the Jiminy Cricket one um, and this year I went for another sort of logo, not logo but um, motto type one um, and I got this one. I like to get them in gold because then I can wear them all sort of together and it is a purple one with stars again I don't think it's gonna sort of is that gonna work no again I'll insert a picture and it says believing is just the beginning and I really like these I just think they're so special and I love that you can kind of just stack them all up together and I just think they're really pretty and I love that they're a little bit jingly I don't know there's something about bracelets that jingle that I really really like which is kind of sad but hey but i really like these and oh i've got my other one i think in here oh no i haven't because it's still in my suitcase because i've been a bit rubbish about unpacking i feel like unpacking kind of goes we're home and i don't i don't want to embrace being home so another collectible and this is not from me it's from my little sister is she likes to collect the um mickey hats um, so last year I got her the Buzz Lightyear Mickey hat and I was going to get her the Woody one but they didn't do it. I was like, no! So instead I brought her this hat which is so awesome. I think this one's cooler than Woody. Like how amazing is this? Like they don't suit my head. It's probably a bad day to try it on when I've got hair, my hair in a bun but how cute is this? I was not cool enough to wear this but I really really like it and I think it's really nice that this is something that I can buy my little sister that as like part of her collection of these so I don't know I think like she should decorate her room with them but I need to find Woody I'm hoping when we go to Disneyland Paris that I can get one so then she's got the collection but ah oh well now I got a hat that wasn't as cool but I really liked it and it's kind of nerdy and it's not I don't normally wear like baseball caps I got this cup and it's got the resort we stayed on which was Port Orleans Riverside 
and this was so nice for kind of keeping the sun out of my hat out of my hat out of my head because i like my head is quite flat and when it's hot like i get quite dizzy i think i'm a bit of a freak but never mind um my boyfriend brought the monsters university one and i didn't want to look like weirdos without matching hats so I really really like this one and I like that it sort of commemorates our resort and I really love this resort. This is the third time I've stayed at Port Orleans Riverside and I just, it's the first hotel I ever stayed at in Disney, well it's the first time I ever went to Disney World and we stayed at, it was called Ditch Landings but it was Port Orleans Riverside and it's just for me that's my Disney home so yeah and I just think this is so nice and this is something I can wear out of Disney as well because although it's like got Disney on it's not in your face Disney um, another headwear clearly headwear is a theme that is this this one is like a big Instagram thing like everyone's going crazy over these and I got these on the first day they came out before they were a hype <laughs> I just saw them and I was like oh my god they're lovely so I got them like on the day they were released literally the woman put them in the store for 20 minutes yes so I feel like I am I am the first one to wear these probably not <laughs> and that is these lovely rose gold mini ears how adorable are these they just look so cute they were like an instant like I want them I uh, yeah I just love these although I'm really annoyed because on so many photos I'm wearing them backwards <laughs> which is I don't know why I'm like what am I doing but yeah I absolutely love these these are just so adorable yeah the next thing I got was well I got two of them I got one for myself I'm going to try and show them on different sides. One for myself and one for my sister. And these are these little like emoji pillow cushiony toy things. And I love them. I just think they're so cute. Like, and the flip sides. Yeah, and these were only, these were like $8, which is amazing. So I think they were a really nice like present for my sister, my older sister. So yeah, I just I think they're quite fun and cute and they're really soft. And I'm a sucker for a toy, you know. I'm a child. Speaking of toys, I brought too many like plush type things this year, like it's not even funny. I got these guys as key rings. I legitimised these because they were key rings. <laughs> I was like, they're not toys, they're key rings. Um, I love this sort of cute Sully and then my boyfriend was like well you can't have Sully without Mike so I got these I don't know if I'm going to put them on a bag or anything because I... Sully's running away rude I don't know whether I want to ruin them but I mean they are so cute I just love that he's got like a childlike face yeah these were expensive like these were $12 and this was eight. I'm like, I don't get the pricing sometimes, but I just think these are so cute. So yeah, I got these, I got these like on the last day, so I could legitimize it. Cause I was like, they're cute. And I wanted one of these kind of like plush key rings. Cause I just thought they were really lovely. Okay. So if you watched my video last year, you can go and watch it. I shall link it down below. You know, I got so many souvenir cups. So this year I was like, I need to restrain myself because they took up so much space in our suitcase. Like, oh my God, we would not have had room for them this year. So I was very like calm this year on souvenir stuff. So we got our obligatory um, free ones. I went for purple this year, which is what I wanted last year, but they only had red and blue. James went for red, which is boring. They are exactly the same as last year, apart from this handle is white. I prefer them being coloured, but it's not a do or die kind of situation. I love these, they're so cute. And last year's, I used it as a makeup brush holder, just a little 
helpful tip for you. The next sort of one that's exactly the same as last year is this water part one. Again, exactly the same design, literally nothing different. We even took this one, because we went to Typhoon Lagoon first, we took this one back to Blizzard and we just got it kind of, because I think they have like an inbuilt coding and we just got the code put on. These are really, really good. Like for us, it was just like, we didn't really make the most of the money in terms of these, but it was just something nice to kind of quickly go and get a drink when we're at the water parks and not have to worry about drinking it all and whatever. The next ones are different from last year. I had my first ever Le Fuse brew and I had it in this drink, in this cup and I really really like it, it's so like cool, what's it called, like a beer tanker? No, I don't know, but I had a choice of this or um, I think it was the rose cup and I just preferred this, like now Primark do the rose cup, I'm not as like excited about the ones in Disney and before we went out there was a big hype like oh my god it's so rare to get these literally everywhere i went they had like 50 60 of them so it wasn't like a rare commodity so i really like this and it's got the man himself mr gaston who is a legend so i really really love this mug i just think it's so nice the next one was something oh and le Fuse brew was amazing it was so nice like I heard it was quite like butter beer. It wasn't. I love Le Fuse Brew. I hate it butter beer. The next one I knew I was going to get before we went out, and I love it. It is just literally the cutest cup in the world. And it was free. And it was this BB 8 cup. Now, they're normally $15. But the guy misheard me and thought I'd ask for a BB 8 cupcake and so he just charged me for a bba cupcake which was like the same price as a drink and he just went and grabbed me one of these i don't think he was meant to do that that was definitely not what he was supposed to do but i wasn't he was just like just have this it's fine which is really cute i love this bba cup it is literally like so cute like the vlogs that are coming up there's like this hilarious clip where i like i didn't realize that james was recording me and i'm just sat there like enjoying my cup because <laughs> I'm such a child but yeah I just love this I think BB-8 is just the cutest thing I, I think it was such a good move on Disney's hot behalf to create a droid that is incredibly cute looking it does appeal to children and me and it does kind of get you into Star Wars I do love this it's so cute and it's so nice to like hold mm, love it the next thing was I wanted to see one of the shows or the fireworks and have popcorn. I don't know why, it was just something I wanted. And basically they had these popcorn containers and they're really good. I think it was like $10 and then you could pay £1, well $1.50 to have a refill, like you could keep refilling it. For the like duration of your stay which i thought was really really good but i mean i because we had just so many snacks like you'll see later um i didn't ever use the refill and actually i chucked some of the popcorn away because like it's huge but i really really like the container i am a sucker for souvenir containers and i just really like that it's got reference to all of the parks so we've got epcot magic kingdom animal kingdom and Hollywood Studios and you could refill it in all of the parks and I just think this is just so nice and that will definitely be a container I will use here at home I'm not sure what for yet but definitely will be using it and I just really like it and Disney popcorn does taste different I, I didn't quite believe it I was like popcorn does taste like popcorn and it didn't it was amazing it was so good so yeah Definitely, if you're going to Disney World, try the Disney popcorn. It's amazing. Okay, nearly forgot to mention, I also got another cocktail glass from Rainforest Cafe. It's just a really nice sort of 
huge cocktail glass with Rainforest Cafe Orlando. I have one of these from last year, but it's quite nice to have a set. And um, yeah, I just like collecting these. I've got like three of them now. I've got one at my mum and dad's somewhere. But that's somewhere. But yeah, I just think it's nice, especially as we're looking to get a house, that I can have a cocktail glass collection. Very grown up and sophisticated. Okay, the final thing that I forgot to mention from drinks were these. Now, I cannot for the life of me remember what these are called. So I shall put the name below. But basically there were these amazing purple and green drinks. Like this year we really sort of went out to try different snacks we'd never had before. And it was these Pandora drinks and they were absolutely beautiful. And then what you can do is you can change the colours of the lights. So you can have like different colours. I'm trying to find... We had it on the flashing setting. It's going to take me fa Oh, there we go. So it flashes different colours. And this was in our drink. And it just looks so cool. I want to call this like a seed or something. I literally can't remember what it was called. But basically we paid $3 to have these in our drinks. And they were cool. And I was happy. So yeah, I'm definitely going to do a snack um video because we really went out to try different things and we've had like I had things like the doll whip which I'd never had before and it was amazing so yeah I'll definitely make a video about that <sighs> okay the next thing is we went a little crazy on zoom zooms or zoom zooms as this child told me we were in a shop looking at zoom zooms or zoom zooms and I was like oh I really like these zoom zooms and this kid went to me and was like they're not called Zoom Zooms, they're called Zoom Zooms. I was like, okay, thank you. I was like, how rude. Doesn't matter how I say it, I like them. Doesn't matter. So basically, I wanted to get some Disney World specific ones. And I was so happy because basically they have a collection of Splash Mountain ones, which, as you may know, is my absolute favourite, favourite ride in the whole of Disney World. Probably in the whole of the world. It's just, I love it. It literally, I think the thing that I love the most is it reminds me of my dad because, like, he loves the song. <laughs> so, yeah, I love it. Um, so, basically, I got the collection. So, I got Br'er Rabbit. I got the, um, I can't think what these are called. It doesn't say on it. The birds just before you drop. I got the blue bird. I got Br'er Bear. I got... Brer Fox. I think that was it. I think. So I just really like these. Like, just a nice little memento from my favourite ride. The next thing I got was when we were out there, they released the Tower of Terror collection. Now, I didn't really like many of them, but we got one. How cute is he? He's got the little hat on and he's got the little outfit. I just thought this is so nice. Then they also had the Ratatouille ones and we got these two which are so adorable and then we got the Frontierland collection so we got Donald, Mickey and Minnie in their little Frontier outfits which are just really adorable and cute like how can you not like these and then we got this one from Cars. This was was one that James wanted, which is really nice. So we have our zoom zooms, zum zums, however you say it, underneath our TV. But with our new collection, it kind of covers the TV. So we desperately need to find a new way to um, store our zum zums. I'm going to stick with zum zums because that's what I call them. Like I say, Oreo is wrong because you're supposed to say Oreos. I just can't pronounce anything. But, uh, uh, I'm just going to roll with it because that's what makes me unique, that I can't say anything properly. I'm going to stick with that. because that Oh my gosh, this video is so long. Oops. Oh well. Gives me more editing time for fun. The next thing I got was really geeky, but like 
for me, one of the things that I see and like it makes me realise I'm in Disney is seeing the Disney buses like the Magical Express or Tragical Express on the way back and the Disney transport. So this is like this is cringy but again this is something that I wanted before we came before we went to Disney like oh my god cringe and it's a set of the buses like how nerdy is this it's like toys but I'm not gonna use them as toys I'm just gonna have them as little like decorations but I just thought these were adorable to have like just if I'm having a bad day just to have these on display yeah I'm not even embarrassed anymore these are really really cute and I don't think they were too expensive either I think they were like oh price here these were $17 and I just thought these were so nice because we came in on the Disney Cruise Line bus we left on the Tragical Express and obviously we use these all the time and yeah I just really like it and it just rem it just reminds me of Disney and I think that's why I desperately wanted these the next thing is a car thing but it's not for me it's my dad my dad really loves cars but like he's not a massive Disney fan so it's quite hard to find something for him as a souvenir so they do these this range called Disney racers last year I got him a Mickey Mouse car and this year I got him Woody because he does like Toy Story and I just thought these were really nice and I'm gonna like buy him some beers as well but yeah so that's for you daddy B the next thing again is not mine my boyfriend loves these like designer droid type things so he designed this weird looking alien droid it's not my kind of thing but you know he likes it and you can name it so yeah I think like if you're a child or a grown man it's quite a little fun activity and he thought he was really clever because he's got like a silver arm and a gold arm and then a gold leg and a silver leg and a gold body and a silver head so he likes his like contrast of colours a lot of thought went into this dude he's not got a name though so if you can think of a name put it down below and we'll see if we go for it okay the next thing I'm going to move on to is my pins whoa nobody wants to see my face that close back off Lizzie um so as a celebration of the 45th anniversary I got one of the 45th anniversary pins are these gonna stay in focus oh we got focus yay so this is a Mickey Mouse 45th anniversary one and I just really like it it's got Magic Kingdom and it's got 45th um my boyfriend likes to get the local football stuff or like that state's football so he got this pin which is really nice it's mickey mouse with the orlando city logo on it and he's kicking a football so yeah to him that's really special um one of the disney films we both really really love is lilo and stitch and we love the ohana means family so we went out and looked for this which i just think is so cute is it gonna go into focus yes slightly with my shaky hands so yeah really like that one and actually this one's quite special because we did have to look quite far for it um last year they didn't really have any merchandise specific to resorts so i was really happy this year to see that they had resort specific so i brought myself a port orleans riverside pin is that gonna work yeah so just really nice and a nice sort of memorabilia from the resort and then we brought a sort of a backdated one because last year we said at all star movies so i brought an all star movie one just really nice now this one isn't like movie specific they only do all star resorts but it was really really nice to have something for well from last year really the next things were free but i was so happy when we got these because i thought they only gave these to children and then when they gave it to us we were like yes although james james enjoyed these more than i did and he's usually a little bit more reserved with like disney stuff whereas I'm like a child so 
I got myself a little wand from Cinderella's Royal Table. It was such a magical meal. I appreciate that like it's quite overhyped but like as it was my first time it was just amazing. It was such a lovely experience and like yes I wouldn't go there every time because it is two dining credits and it's not the food's not amazing but it was such a lovely special meal so i got this which i really was happy with you know i had a little play with it had a photo with it james on the other hand got this james spent the whole meal with this and the whole bus journey home a grown 26 year old man okay one of the things that was really tricky when coming back with our suitcases was trying to shove in all of our snacks it was the most stressful thing because they're quite heavy and they're quite big and oh my god so basically this year Disney changed the snacks so basically you didn't have a pudding with your quick service instead you gained an extra snack which was really good because it gave us this opportunity to try lots of different snacks but we still ended up with about 40 40 <laughs> snacks to buy near the end of the holiday like we were just buying stuff so I did buy a lot of snacks I'm not going to show you absolutely everything because some of them are repeats and it'd be really boring to show you every single snack I got so I'm just going to kind of show you the highlights of my snacking so the first one I got from Pandora and basically it's a crispy cake and it's a vein pod I also look really cute and basically I wanted a Pandora carrier bag because I didn't really fancy anything that they had like I wasn't too fussed about having a bench or anything but I thought maybe in a year they might not do Pandora carrier bags because it won't be new so I thought this is so sad I wanted a souvenir carrier bag what is wrong with me but yeah and then I saw this and I was like these are really cute and specific to Pandora and then the labels have got like the ACE um, it says fun to share I won't be sharing just so you know because I'm like that um so yeah really like this it's cute to look at I don't want to eat it though because it's like it's too nice I then brought two other specific Pandora snacks these are jelly beans just gonna put that out there they're jelly beans but they are meant to be bioluminescent beans and I love the packaging I just thought how like special and nice it looked I love this whole like straw kind of effect and the beans are really bright and got like sparkly bits on I just really liked it and I'm like I'm such a child I just love these then I also got these from Pandora which are Celia fruit gums and they just these and the beans kind of just reminded me of the environment in Pandora it was honestly the most beautiful um just oh it's just beautiful it's such a lovely place to go so yeah i got some of these which look really tasty um i got some minis bake shop cookies which are really nice um they're just kind of like standard biscuits but they're shaped like disney characters so they're really nice i can't think of any other words really nice really nice really nice they are all really nice we got hundreds of these goofy snack packs like these are insane but i really like these they say family size again i'm not gonna share them i love these are like my favorite the sour gummy worms so i shared these up with you these are really really nice and what i really like is they've got some nice e numbers in which we don't have in the uk so sad times but yeah we got hundreds of these so if you ever come around to my house feel free i then got some cotton candy again i think this is more about the container than anything else Ooh, just really just um i really like cotton candy and like in this whole box there is 220 calories that's it for a whole box like that just blows my mind but I will probably eat this all in one go, so probably not too bad a thing. But yeah, I really like candy floss. I never got around to eating it in Disney, so 
Oops. Now, my favourite, favourite snack in the whole of Disney is the crispy treats. They don't taste like the crispy treats we have in the UK. They don't taste like them. These are just so, like, marshmallowy and yummy. So I got this one, which is basically, to describe it, covered in M&M's. Literally, like, it saw an M&M and just, like, exploded. Really like it. Really like it. Yummy. Can't wait to eat that. I did buy about ten of those, but I've been eating them for breakfast. Healthy, as always. Then I got this one, which is just a nice, simple, mini-shaped, well, Mickey-shaped one. And then the other one I got was this BB-8 one, which I thought was really, really cute. I think it's just got chocolate on it, or, like, yoghurt. I don't really know. But, yeah, it's got BB-8. It's orange. And it's got, like, sweeties inside of it. So, yeah, really, really looking forward to eating that. Now I have hauled it, I can eat it. I got some, I'm really quick now, chocolate coins, which have just got Disney characters. It's got like um, Dumbo, Jiminy Cricket, Donald, nice simple chocolates. I got shortbread. I absolutely love shortbread. Like I could quite easily live off shortbread. So these were like a nice little sort of snack to have at home. So yeah, that was really like, took my breath away doing all those snacks but yeah we've got loads of snacks like a ridiculous amount okay so i'm now gonna look at my magic bands that we brought this year now we both selected the sort of free magic band that you get um i went for purple this year and james went for blue now we decided that we really wanted to have a go at making our own um so james like he liked his blue so he stuck with blue but his favourite Disney character is Donald Duck and it's got Donald Duck's signature on it so that was his but mine, I love mine, it's so cute not, not speaking favourably or anything I went for a Toy Story one and I really like how the blue clouds merge into the pink like I think it works really really well which you kind of wouldn't expect but I think it's quite a baby blue sky and like a baby pink kind of colour. So I got that and then I personalised it with my name and my name works really well with it. Um, so there. So I really really like this. They were ridiculously priced. These were $32. Like that's ridiculous for a magic band. Like, But I just think they are so adorable and they're something we can keep. Now we have an extra one for the party. <laughs> Ta-da! This purple one, and it's a 2017 one, it is really nice. It has got reference to all of the parks. Now, on one of the days we were on the bus, this grandma was having a real go at her kid because he forgot his magic band. And she was like, it's ridiculous that you've spoiled the holiday. You are nine years old and you should know how to look after your stuff. And we were there going, yeah, as if you can't remember a magic band. Like, we were really judging this poor kid. Then, on the last day, um, I, James turned to me and went, I forgot my magic band. And I thought he was having a joke, like, because we'd seen this kid. And I just thought it was, like, a joke because of this kid. It wasn't a joke. He literally forgot his magic band. And I was so upset because it was the last day. And I was like, I don't want to go back to the resort. And, like, I was really, really upset. Um, so, anyway, we went to guest relations and they were amazing like they were just like oh don't worry this happens all the time and they gave him a card but he really didn't like not having a magic band like he's like oh, it feels really weird so he ended up buying one and I think because I was upset <laughs> just being spoiled brat really um he let me choose which one we went for and I'd kind of had my eye on this magic band so we got this one which is nice and I like it. it's got a date on it I, I'm a sucker for a date or reference to the parks so this magic band kind of ticked every box so it kind of turned a bit of an annoying situation into something positive and in all honesty it wasn't that big a disaster that he'd forgotten his magic band because Disney were just so so good so yeah thanks Disney so this is James's Monsters University cap. I'm sure you've seen loads of these. These are like Instagram all over the place. 
Um, I love it. I love the little like scuff mark. And James looks so cute in this. I was like, oh, like it's just such a cutie pie. Um, the next thing, and this is James's, so I hope I don't break it. Was he designed his own lightsaber? So he got a purple one. I'm sure like Star Wars people can tell me about all of these bits. But yeah, it was really nice to see him making something. Like he was gonna get one last year, but then he kind of talked himself out of it. So it's like this year, you've, you you know, you've got to get one. This is something that you really enjoy. And like it was really nice. Like he spent a good 30 minutes putting all the pieces together and really like thought about it. And it was just really lovely to see. It, and he was so happy with it. And I think it's just because it's so like personalised, it's his, it's his own. So yeah, I just really love it. It's so cute. And he was so happy with it. And it makes a really swooshing noise. But I don't want to risk breaking it because I think I might be murdered. So yeah, that's what Jamesy Boo got. Um, bending down again. Hi! Professional as always. For James's mum, we brought this little Cinderella's Castle with Mickey on. Are we going to focus? Yes. For a while until my shaky hands take over. Um, so yeah, nice and simple. It's really detailed though. Despite it being quite simple, it's very detailed. I love the Mickey on it. And then if you look at the back, you can really see the detailing like on the rooms and the windows. So I just think this would be something really nice for her to have on her tree. Um, for ourselves, we brought this amazing thing so it is the mickey mouse hat and then it's got reference to all of the parts we've got cinderella's castle animal kingdom hollywood epcot have i said all of them yeah um and then it's got like the fireworks it's got tinkerbell with the little like sparkle and then it's got the monorail running all the way around it and it's got Walt Disney World on and it's got fireworks on so I just really like it I love it like I said I love anything that makes reference to the parks like I just I just think it's so nice so this one was perfect I just think this is gonna look so lovely on our tree now I was gonna do my makeup that I brought but I think speaking honestly I've got quite bad Disney blues like I'm really like I don't know, I just feel really down about being home. I always do. So I think I'm going to do another video on like summer favourites so I can kind of evaluate things that I took on holiday as well. And I'll show you some of the bits that I got in Sephora. So this one is not from the Disney store, but it was from Disney Springs. Um, we really like Uniqlo, like, I think that's how you say it. And they had like a um, Mini Loves Dots collection. And I really, really loved, it looks really orange on camera. It's not this orange, it's like um, pillar box red. But I love this. I just thought it was so like simple and not in your face. I mean, I know it's like very Disney because it's got mini, but it wasn't like, whoa, Disney. And it just says Minnie Mouse. It's got a mini on on each side and it just looked really nice and it's like a, a boxy size. Now I have worn this, it is rather crinkled and I should have ironed it but you know, keeping it professional as always. I just really really like this top and it was really nice to wear, I did get rather hot in it but I think in the UK with some jeans or some leggings it'll look really cute. Something we started but really got into this year was the press coins and so basically we brought a press coin book and what we had a lot of was it where it was like eight for five dollars so this is like this is my second one and we just it was really nice little tradition to have and like we got my favorite one we did was we got a coin from every place in the world showcase so it's really really cute um and then this is my full one Ta-da! So there is one quarter press there. But I just really love it. And it's such a nice little memento. And it's something really nice to do in the park. And like we really put thought into which ones we've got. And yeah. I just really like it. And it's just a nice little collection to have. So yeah. And these were $12. Which I didn't think was too bad. So it was just a nice little hobby to have while we were there. 
I brought this photo album and this was something I knew I was going to get before we went out there and it's basically like this leather look Walt Disney World one and I like that this is a little bit more classic compared to the ones I brought last year um, it's got Walt, got Walt, gold Walt Disney World down the side and then this sort of goldy bronze emblem on it it comes with this gold pen so you can like write descriptions I love how it's got this like regal stamp on it that says Walt Disney World I love this and it's got this pattern in the inside with this regal kind of print I just I really like that this is quite classic and I just yeah it's really really nice so it smells so good mm. so yeah so that is everything I brought while we were on our holiday to Disney World so thank you for sticking all the way to the end and um, we had an absolutely lovely holiday and I am really sad to be home this time I'm really going to make an effort to make sure that my weekly vlogs are on a set day I'm thinking it's going to be Sunday that's not confirmed yet but now it's the summer holidays for me I'm going to try and like get loads of them edited so literally I can just kind of pop them onto YouTube every Sunday so they will be a lot more regular there's going to be a set day and a set time every week so thank you so much for watching guys really do appreciate it I hope if you're going to Disney World you had the most amazing time and that this video is giving you some ideas of things you want so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all really soon bye